-hmm. On the morning of December 7, 1941, we kids got up real early. We were living in Colorado Lane near Vineyard Street, near the, near the river. We wanted to get up early because we wanted to play mahjong with my mom. So we got the house cleaned and we started to sit down. And all of a sudden, we heard airplanes flying overhead. We wondered what it was. And we turned on our radio. My brother, who was in the National Guard, heard a call saying they wanted all National Guard to report to duty. So he up and left. And so we stopped playing. We said, what's going on anyway? We found that the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor. OK, I was 16 years old. At Farrington High School, I was a junior. And so we had to stop going to school for a couple of days. And when we did go to school, we were given gas masks to carry together with all of our books. And we would sling the gas masks over our shoulders. And we had gas mask drills in school. We walked all the way from Colorado Lane near the river to Farrington High School, which was quite a distance, but that was our usual route. Farrington was used as a hospital, so we could not use the buildings. We used Quonset huts in the back. And we stayed there until for about a year and a half till we graduated senior year. A lot of my classmates went to work at Pearl Harbor because they were of age and they wanted to work. Most of us went to school half a day and we worked the other half. Part of the time I worked at the cannery packing pineapples and I also with a couple of friends worked at a laundry after school and on Saturdays. We were paid only 25 cents an hour. And we were kind of worried because at that time they said laundry workers were could not quit their jobs. So, so we worked for a couple of months and told them that we had to do some work at school. So we didn't work there. So when we graduated, we still did not use the main building because it was still being used as a hospital. And most of our classmates were able to work for a whole semester and, and considered at Pearl Harbor and were able to graduate with us. And you know, being Chinese, it didn't look too much different from being Japanese. So occasionally, it was kind of hard because sometimes we could have been in danger of being recognized as being Japanese because the looks were similar, I guess. Oh, I remember rationing rice at that time. I remember going to Smith Street to stand in line because they were selling rice in a five pound bag. It wasn't very much because we had a family of seven but I stood in line for a long time to pick up the bag of rice. And it was a hard time, especially for the Japanese people.